three, two, one, action. Look out. This is the big, big bad man, the big double R, big papa. There were none before me and there will be none after me. Therefore, that makes me the one and only. I'm old. I'm single. And I'm ready to mingle. Certified and bona fide and dutifully qualified to bring you satisfaction in a whole lot of action. Look out, baby. This is Rambo on the track. I'm the baddest man on YouTube. What's up, everybody? What's going on? Good evening. Good morning. Hey, check it out. Um, I wanted to drop this video um, just because, well, it's not that I'm, um, I don't really think about George um, Santos unless they talk about him. You know what I'm saying? Like on the news. I'm not like a fanatic about getting this guy out of Congress or anything. My point is how in God's name can you have a man that has, has done this many things and lied this many times about this many things? I mean, he's actually done things to people, not just the lies, okay? Several things. How can he still walk with his head up into Congress? And why hasn't he been thrown out? You've got people out here that are struggling, that have done 10,000 times less than this guy, right? And can't get a job because of it. Even me, in my younger years, um, I had a couple of brushes with the law, nothing serious, right? As a matter of fact, it, it's all off now, but it took a long time and I did lose some opportunities, you know, over the years um, because of um, just being arrested. Not even being found guilty or anything. You know what I'm saying? I was a tennis coach, so you can imagine. I was at top, at the top um, country clubs in the United States coaching. So I missed out on a few opportunities. I'm not going to lie. Most of the, um, most of the uh, country clubs that I worked at... Um, honestly didn't do a background check <laughs> you see what I mean that's another thing you know and, and I got to see that being a tennis coach they don't do, really do background checks a lot of times because they don't want to know and they're they gonna let they're gonna let Tommy and, and, and Sally coach they don't care what they've done and I got scooped into that a lot especially as I got older they didn't even do a background check on me you see what I mean but my point is you know, and I'm going to play this video of um, Santos speaking because they they show him in very short clips. And I got this clip that I, I got for you guys that's, you know, a little bit longer. So you can kind of just see how nuts this dude is. You see what I mean? And for him to even be considered as a serious person, it's offensive to a lot of people in me that have had um, situations with background checks. And they, they're just thrown out the window. You see what I mean? So, I'm going to go ahead and get into the video, and I just, you know, that's really what I had to say about it, you know, just my perspective, but, you know, like, um, you know, if you guys have any comments about it, leave it down below, and um, just let me know what you think, you know what I mean? So, I'm just going to let it play, and, and, and I'm going to get on out the way. Hey, I'm Ramo Red Track, the baddest man on YouTube. Romney treated Santos poorly. I want you to think about that. The Newsmax uh, the host Romney is basically saying uh, that Mitt Romney acted in the wrong here or not George Santos. He was annoyed with Mitt Romney. Nice. Mitt Romney did what I think anyone should do, which is basically say, what the heck are you doing here? Here, play the clip. Mitt Romney, yesterday. Uh, you know, Mitt Romney was mobbed because he had a conversation with you. I think we have footage of there are about 15 reporters following him around because he talked to you. You. Uh, maybe you heard. I was um, I was annoyed with Mitt Romney. I think he could have offered you some generosity, maybe some advice. There are a million places to meet on Capitol Hill. He claimed not to hear what you said. You said something back to him. He claimed not to hear it. Uh, number one, is he telling the truth? And number two, what did you say? 
I'll, I'll put it this way. It's not meant for television what I said back to him. <laughs> but I can tell you one thing. He did hear me. And Kir uh, Kirsten Cinema, as she was walking by the senator from Arizona, she said something to the effects of hang in there, buddy, or something like that. I said, thank you. Thank you, uh, Madam Senator. She was very polite, very kind hearted, as, as I've learned to, to, to see her. Uh, she's a good person, really unlike Mr. Weirdo. Romney, who thinks he's above it all and is in a whole, whole almighty white horse really trying to talk weirdo. to us down on morality. The reality is he's always been a prejudice. He's always has prejudice towards minority. He had it in his 2012 election, and that is why he didn't become president when he absolutely had the opportunity to become president. And that's why I was very clear when I said on Twitter, you will never be president because you would never represent all Americans. Okay, now this is Santos telling uh, the Newsmax host, he goes, I'm human, I've made mistakes, I'm at peace with those mistakes. Well, the, the people aren't. You can't just lie and deceive everyone and go, you know what, I'm at peace with it now. I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. I may have lied, deceived, and engaged in ongoing criminal activity, but you know what, we're, we're good. We're good here. Here, play this clip. How are you able to get anything done with all those people uh, shadowing you? Are you able to get anything done this, given the pressure and the attention uh, that you're facing this right should now? should be embarrassed. As a country, let this man you know, Greg, a lot of people have opinions and a lot of people want to say a lot of things. Here's, here's the reality. I'm human. I've made mistakes. I've made peace with those mistakes and I've come clean on those mistakes. Um, I thought we were the nation and the country of, you know, repent and ask for forgiveness and move forward. The problem is the media fanfare around me continues to spiral. Meanwhile, I'm in my office, I'm taking meetings, I'm answering constituent calls, and I'm signing on to a, a litany of um, bills on the House, and we're writing bills out of my office already that are sitting with ledge counsel. So as everybody must be wondering at home if I'm getting things done, you betcha we're getting things done, and we're pretty proud of the work we're putting forward. I was hired. I was hired by the 142,000 people who elected me to deliver on a conservative agenda, and that's exactly what I'm doing. And you can expect to see nothing but conservative policy coming out of my office while the media spirals out of control. Okay, now here George Santos has the most ridiculous, I mean, it is, everything nuts. he says is utterly preposterous. But I'm here he gonna, says that I'm the organization the which funded the loans Please that he gave himself, which crazy. are clearly criminal in nature, Straight which he'll up. likely be I'm indicted for soon. He goes, the DeVolder He's organization was founded in 2001. Straight really? Up. You are 34 years old now. So that organization was founded in 2001. Let me do the math to see if that makes any sense at all. All he spews is lies. Here, please. Uh, but it's unclear if it's actually your funds or someone else's. $750,000, $700,000, $120,000. Go ahead, please. Where did the money come from? I, I can attest that the total of the money was all legitimate money obtained through my legal practices with my company, and I distributed my dividends to myself and loaned it to the campaign. I was all in on this. This wasn't, I had my heart and soul on this. This isn't, this isn't about power. This is about getting stuff done. Having somebody like me come and represent other people who are just like me, simple-minded folks who come from absolutely nothing and have a voice in Congress. That's why when Mitt Romney told me I didn't belong here, here. I, this isn't the first or will it be the last time that somebody has told me I didn't belong and I fought to stay and to be represented and be heard and that's exactly what I'm going to continue to do. No matter how many people come after me, I will always stand strong. As far as, as, far as the finances, as you can imagine and appreciate, it is an ongoing uh, inquiry and we're more than willing and always willing to supply anything that is asked of us. And I stand strong and I have no no doubt in my mind they all were attained, all my funds were attained for legitimate reasons and channels. And I have no no fear to say that I will uh, will suffer any ethics issue with that. You are, um, I, I would love it if you could be a bit more specific though. You're kind of talking a little bit vaguely. Uh, that, you know, for these loans, you know, there's collateral there are things that in the past you've said, okay, it didn't come from Russia, it didn't come from China. Uh, you say legitimately, that's a lot of money. It didn't appear that you had jobs that would provide that kind of income where you can make these kinds of loans. So I would love it if you could be a bit more specific because these are, these are real sizable figures. Of course, Greg. The Volder Organizations was founded in 2001 when I stepped away from my previous employment. 
and I decided to go on my own to do exactly what I did for other companies for years, which is capital introduction, relationship management of high net worth individuals. And there's no shame. There's no shame. And here's Santos basically telling the host, Greg Kelly, he goes, look, here's the deal. I would never have even gotten the nomination if if I had not concluded college. So I I lied. Your playlist clip. A lot of deceptions here. You'll admit, and you have said you're sorry. But what was motivating you? So I, I want to set the record clear about my work experience. I never lied. I, I never worked for Goldman Sachs or Citigroup directly, but I did work through uh, direct contracts for those firms in the management of limited partners and general partners relationships um, through a through a series of uh, cap introduction right, con opportunities. Congressman, I, I respect I, many I, other I, firms. If you don't mind, Congressman, I have to jump in. I, you understand though, the net effect was of course. Dece was deceptive. And I do want to get, and yes, people exaggerate on their resumes and embellish, but there are some items here uh, that seem to go beyond that. And I'm just wondering, and we'll talk about Mitt Romney and what happened there, and I do think that God has his hand in everything, but what was motivating you? What were you, was it, was it insecurity? Brian Williams famously got caught in a bunch of lies, and he said, look, I was trying to be something I wasn't because I felt insecure. What was going on inside you? Look, Greg, here's the deal. I would have never gotten the nomination from the Nassau County GOP if I had not completed college. That was really the main driver because of the way of the nature of their politics over there. It's, it's just plain and simple, right? So I, I made that bad decision. I stand by my work experience. I, I walk the walk. I talk the talk. I know what I'm doing. Uh, I, I have that through a career of success and coming from a basement apartment to being a member of Congress and everything in between. Life wasn't kind. The journey wasn't easy. You know, uh, it, I've, I've taken some sacrifices and some hits in the face, but I stand here to say confidently that to say that I deceived and, and it was a campaign of deceit and deception is just not fair. That's just the political spin that the Nassau County GOP wants to create on this narrative. And as you, as you know, New York politics is pretty simple. The party bosses run the narrative and everyone follows suit. And this is what's going on at the moment. Okay, look, what we just witnessed is some of the most bizarre conduct ever, or it should be. But this is just what the MAGA Republican is today. This is how they act. And it's, look... It's not unique at this point to Santos, right? I mean, it seems you know like what? every he getting paid probably what do they get paid? Like almost two hundred thousand dollars a year. Really? You can't find anybody else better than him. You can't find anybody else better than Herschel Walker. I don't care what party you with. You can't. You can't do any better than that. Like I mean. Marjorie Green, I'm going to do a, um, I'm going to do a, um, a video on her too. She just is nuts as she want to be. And, and you actually spent time, put gas in your car to go vote for somebody like that. It just, to me, that's just, it's so immature. Just because you want your side to win. Come on. Come on, you know what I mean? Like that's this isn't third. This, this isn't second grade. Like I say all the time, are you in second grade? You know, if you're in second grade, I could understand it. You know what I mean? Hey, you know what I mean? You're gonna make mistakes in second grade, but a grown adult? Why you will go vote vote for Herschel Walker? Come on. You know good and well that, and, 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 and you're not taking it serious if you're doing it. You see what I mean? You're not. You're not taking it serious. And, and if you're not going to take it serious, stay home.